Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be showing you how to install Photokinetic Westeros mod, which makes Civ 6 look amazing. The depth of field and the low saturated colors. So if you didn't like the vibrant colors before, you're gonna love this mod. All right, so let's get into my desktop and see how you install it. All right guys, so what you want to do first is go to this website. Link will be down below in the description and download the text file. Now this readme file will have all the instructions and downloads with it, but I will show you a visual concept on how to install this for easier use. All right, so first you want to go click on any of these two sites and download the reshade. So I'm just gonna choose Mediafire here and just download it, okay? So you're gonna have it right here, right? So wait for it to download. And it says next to download the photokinetic preset. So just go ahead and paste that link in and then download. Now all these download links will be down in the description if you don't want to download this readme file. All right, so next what it wants you to do is extract the, the reshade folder anywhere you want. So I'm just going to extract the reshade 2.03 folder to my download so it's easier, okay? So just click on downloads when you extract to, click OK, and then it's going to start extracting, right? And then let's do the same for this one, for the photokinetic one. All right. So next, what it wants you to do is open the zip for the photokinetic and copy the reshade folder inside. Okay, guys, inside of the reshade folder into the other reshade folder, okay? So I'll show you how to do that. All right, let's close all these up. All right, so when you open the reshade folder, right? And then let's grab another window, okay? So open the reshade folder, and this was the reshade from the photo kinetic, and then open the reshade 2.03 folder, and then uh, double click on reshade on the 2.03, and then just copy all of this, drag and drop to the other one and then click replace for everyone okay all right so after that is done go back to the reshade folder all right and what it says is to open the reshade assistant and then uh go to profiles and click the plus button between default all right so let's do that so open reshade assistant right it's gonna have this window click profiles right here the weirdly categorized bar and then click plus and then once you're here you want to find where you installed civ 6 right so the default for it will be uh at c program files 86 steam steam apps common and then you will find civ 6 down here right double click on it and go to base binaries windows 64 steam and click the application file okay it says civilization 6 just click open and here it is now the tutorial tells you to click dxgi first but when i first did it d3 d11 works so click on d3 11 press confirm and then just click say yes to the uac and then uh yeah to save it and after that you want to go to presets and then um, over here, there's going to be a description in the readme of all the things these presets do. So for example, the one I was using was Civ 6 PK 14 1080p DOF, right? So it's a higher saturation for 1080 displays and enables depth of fields, which is what I think is the best because all the other ones are for 4K, right? And um, 4K is not that easily accessible all right so click the preset you want i'm just going to click this save right confirm all right and then you're pretty much good to go guys open up civ 6 and you will have it so yeah open up civ 6 and it says that if it crashes you can try you know in the profiles when you added it you can try dxgi right try dxgi you can use DXGI if anything crashes, okay? So that's how to install it, guys. Thank you so much for watching.
and make sure to check out my other videos such as how to install the true start locations earth earth map mod all right so that's about it guys you can start playing with the westeros photo kinetic thing okay bye bye click my ads <laughs>